behind these doors, we're on the hunt to try to find out where this massive rat infestation is and this poor lady having to deal with this for over a year, especially after hiring one of the biggest branded rodent companies here in the nation. She is fed up with it, guys. She wants it solved once and for all. Let's go meet her and let's get right to it. Hearing it right there. Oh in this spot. my! Look at the two of you. Oh my! I'm, I'm the better looking one, right? Yeah, oh my! You remind me of the Kelly Astronaut Brothers. Oh yes. Yes. Good to meet nice you. Nice to meet sir. you. What? And how many companies? Uh, one, but it's Terminex, and so that they are so you know i don't even know the word that they've done such a terrible job you can't reach them so you hear guys see it's terminex um you know she really had a lot of trust and faith in them she's calling the company with no return phone call just not good bi uh, business practice at all i don't know how much she spent but that's uh, pretty frustrating so this room right here is impacted she says she sees uh rodent droppings every now and then right here into this room dave okay let me show you the so here's the attic area right here. Yeah, that's one portion of the attic. The garage. She says she sees the rats literally run on the rafters. Smell a little bit of hint of rodent here in this space here. She says she, over here by the uh, water heater, she sees quite a bit as well. By the tankless here. Yep. Oh, there's some right here. Look. Right here in this corner. Mm -hmm. There's some oh, rat feces. So right there. So they're coming into the garage somehow. We got to figure that out. Well, and like she said, that she's already hired some of the biggest national branded rodent companies to come in and do all the exclusions. But yeah, we're gonna have to do a, a full perimeter inspection on the roof and see if they missed anything. Let's take a look at how the exclusion uh, was done, and then we'll figure out maybe some obvious entry points. So let's do a let's go up on the roof and. See okay. what we can find. All right, guys, the pressure is on. We've got to figure this out. We're going to start with the UV non-toxic smoke test first. At the same time, we're up there. We're going to check and double inspect Terminex's exclusion. So they've been out here several times. And uh, so we're going to check their work right now and see uh, if there's any possible entryways that they either missed or they're going through their existing entry points. Now, just, just as a disclaimer here, we're not here at all bad-mouthing Terminex. In fact, Terminex is a great overall company. Just happens to be this technician, this home, just wasn't properly doing great work. So this is not a representation of the entire Terminex brand. It's just offering this particular situation here and what really needed to happen the and bottom line, fire. guys, if, if you're a any type of home surface company, you're coming into somebody's home and doing work, there's a right way and there's a negligent way and there's a lazy way. So we're just, you know, reviewing some of these work and it just happened to be Terminix. All right, she made it very clear. She's giving us the house, but we got to make sure that this front door stays shut. Can't allow these dogs to get, get away. So that's one of the, the responsibilities that we have here. All right, so we've covered, uh, covered that one with the small hole. So we've got uh, all that properly excluded there. All right, so we all have heard of Flex Seal, and what we really love Flex Seal is to do a coating. Anytime you have any sort of metallic materials exposed to the elements, this Flex Seal just gives it that extra protection, and there's studies shown that rats do not like the taste of this stuff. So it just gives us a little peace of mind, but also sustainability-wise, it's gonna protect from rusting out and just give a lot more protection. So that's where they were going into the garage right there, guys. See how they did not fasten that and really cover it. They only used a single wire mesh and it's not really uh, strapped very, very well at all. We like creating a, uh, a square like that. We put that into the hole as our first layer. Okay, look at what they've done. Look how smart these rats are, especially when you do exclusion work. Like what they did is they, they chewed through the wood and they created another entry point there, right there. So we're gonna we're gonna get that right there. Get 
Yeah, they're not going in there no more. Alright, so we've got all this stuff sealed up. Alright, so a lot of times these, these uh, roof gables right here, you guys, rats love it because they can take their time and chew through wood. The reason why is that they're very secure with animals, you know, and so they're able to get way in there and just take their time to chew. So something to be very aware of is underneath these uh, these roof gables. So we keep creating these little uh, wear nets here and just literally just injecting it inside here. So this is our second one. The first one went all the way to like right here. Really want to compact that really well. All right, we got all that compacted in there. So just in case, for those of you that don't know, that there is the Getty Museum. It's a $1.3 billion museum overlooking beautiful LA. If you're ever in the LA area, pretty awesome thing to do here in LA. Let's get back to the roads though, right? All right guys, so this has been about the second day for Nance right here. Today we're removing the insulation. Uh, team got here earlier today and removed all the, the areas where the rats were coming in. Um, so check all this uh, debris that we removed from the attic. Here it is here. All right, so we're uh, all the insulation out directly underneath this area where they were coming in. We've got a rat's nest here, guys. Sorry, I wasn't here while they were doing it, but found a massive rat's nest here. This is why that uh, drywall, that ceiling is all soiled up. Let's see what we got. Last time we went for him, we had some babies. Here's that fireplace. A lot of activity in this area right here, so we're gonna do a little bit of investigation. No, it's pretty clean. So far it's clean, Thompson? Yeah, so far it was really messy right there. Yeah, over there it was. We reached for some insulation, there was babies under. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, not yet, see? Little tunnels. Oh, the tunnels. There's a tunnel right there where they were digging into the insulation, so there's gotta be something on that side that will pull it back. Yeah, pull that back. Wow. It's like a big nest. Big nest in there, huh? Okay, nothing in there though, right? No, nothing in there. Okay. All right, so Steven got uh, three baby rats here. I'll show you what they look like. That baby rat right there. So that's what we retrieved from the attic doing the decontamination. Okay, let's go talk to Nance and see what the results are. So Nance, how has been the, since we've been here, has the activity slowed way down? Oh my gosh, it's like heaven. There's no noise, there's no scratching, there's none of the frightening sound of what you know are rats climbing in your house and mating and doing all the things that rats do. That's awesome. That is so good to hear. Huge success right there. I mean, she she was hearing so much activity above her bedroom. So it is so awesome to be able to come to a client's house days later and saying, absolutely not. I mean, you heard her expression. So that right there is awesome. All right, guys. Well. There's another episode of solving a rodent issue. Pretty simple job just because there was really some obvious entry points, but we've been monitoring and I'm telling you, it worked like magic. There's no more noises. Super excited that we were able to solve this. So the moral of this uh, episode here, guys, is really to make sure whoever's getting on your property that there's some clear, what I would have done if I was the consumer is ask for photos of all of the entry points, especially idea. if you're paying for a pre-inspection and that rodent control a technician is on your site and found all of the entry points make sure that there's some before and after photos because you as a consumer are just trusting the pros that are walking around your house and assuming that they're doing a good job so leave your comments down below I'd love to hear what you'd have to say here in this uh, episode and make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll, we'll see you on the next one, one.